Welcome to Froggy Tales. My name is Michelle Stroud and I work in the Water Business Office as an administrator. I'm part of a wonderful group of people that make sure everyone has clean and safe water to use for our daily needs, such as bathing, playing in the pool, water in our gardens, or having a nice refreshing glass of water to drink. I'm here with Lily and we will be reading a fun story about frog and beaver. After today's book, we'll have more fun by doing a little froggy craft. Thank you for that great intro. Before we start our story, it's time for a quick froggy rhyme. Remember what I need you to do. Put your arm like this and get your finger ready. I'm going to trade my finger out for a friend. Now take your finger and say this along with me. The tiny frogs are hot. Tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. They do not make a sound as they hop across the ground. The tiny frogs are hopping. Shh, shh, shh. And now take your hands and put them in your lap, and it's time for our story. Frog and Beaver by Simon James. Every morning, Frog woke up from under his leaf and looked out over a beautiful river. Frog shared the river with his friends, the duck and their ducklings, the water voles and their baby water voles. Everyone lived happily together. It was perfect. Then one day, a young beaver came swimming down the river. Hello, little fellow, said the beaver. I'm beaver. Hello, friend, said Frog. I'm looking for a place to build my first dam, said Beaver. It's going to be the biggest and best dam you've ever seen. Well, this is a great place to live, said Frog. You'll love it here. Wonderful, said Beaver. I'll get chewing. But the next day, Frog woke up to see that the water in the river was very low. What's happened, asked Vole. We can hardly swim. It's that beaver, said Duck. Have you seen the size of his dam? Leave it to me, said Frog. I'll go and see him. Hello, beaver, said Frog. Can I have a word? Sorry, Frog. Can't stop to chat. Have you seen my dam? Isn't it fantastic? Well, yes, said Frog, but it's stopping all the water. Beaver was too excited to listen. This is going to be the best dam for miles around, he said. Everyone will love it. The following day, the water in the river was almost gone. It's that darn beaver, said Duck. Who does he think he is? I wish I was bigger, said Vole. i show him a thing or two. Oh dear, Frog said, I'll talk to him again. Look, said Beaver, as soon as he saw the frog, I told you my dam would be the best. But Beaver, said Frog, why does it have to be so big? We don't have any water left. There's lots of water on my side, said Beaver. Why don't you all move up here? Why do we have to move upstream, duck groaned? I'm sorry, said Frog. Beaver just wouldn't listen. I wish I was bigger, muttered Vole. i teach him a lesson. When they arrived, Frog introduced everyone to Beaver. Hello, said Beaver. Look at my dam. Isn't it amazing? Hmm, muttered Duck. That evening, Frog helped the ducks collect sticks to build a nest for the night. Then he helped the water voles dig a new hole. Finally, Frog fell asleep under an old leaf. By morning, Beaver had finished his enormous dam. It's brilliant, boasted Beaver. It's nearly as tall as the mountains. Frog, Frog, look, it's the best dam in the whole world. Frog looked. He saw the huge dam, but he also saw the water about to burst over the top. Look out, Beaver, shouted Frog. 
Suddenly branches began to creak and snap. Stones tumble, boulders crash, and then whoosh, the water came crashing through the dam. Beaver was sent tumbling over and over again as boulders and branches sped by. And then came the duck and the ducklings, the water voles and the baby water voles, and of course, frog. Swim for the bank, shouted frog. The ducks, the water voles, and frog all made it safely to the shore. Is everybody okay, asked frog. We're okay, said vole, but I think beaver's in trouble. Is he all right, asked duck. He swallowed too much water, said frog, but I know what to do. Frog jumped up and down on Beaver's back until Beaver began to cough and splutter. Where am I? What happened? asked Beaver. Your dam burst, said Duck. Frog saved your life. Beaver was quiet for a moment. How can I ever thank you, Frog? he gasped. Well, we've lost our homes again, Frog said. Perhaps you could help. Anything, said Beaver eagerly. So Beaver helped the ducks build a new nest. Not too big, though, said Duck. And he dug a new hole for the water voles and the baby water voles. Not too big, though, said Vole. And finally, Beaver built a dam for himself. Not too big, though. Everything on the river was perfect again. Especially for Beaver's best friend, Frog. That was an amazing story. My favorite part of the book was when Frog, Beaver, and their friends figured out how to share water and live happily ever after. What was your favorite part of the book? For today's craft, you'll need to cut out pieces from the provided template, some colored pencils, some tape, and another pencil or stick. 